So I read all your emails, and we one recurring one that I see is that is one people asking about this uh, this kind of like how to extend the vacation hookup thing. So you meet on a vacation, and then it's like, how do I get this to real town? Right, essentially, or how do I like take this from vacation fling to like real life? And th- this, qu- I'll read the I'll okay. read the letter from the listener. This is just one of many on this topic, so I thought it'd be a good tip for us to get into. So we've gotten a bunch of these. Yeah. Hey, Jared and Jordana, I'm an OG listener, huge fan of the show. Look forward to it every Thursday and recommend it to all my friends. You guys are the heroes Gotham needs. Was hoping now. Uh, was hoping to to now get your always subtle and nuanced advice. I met a gorgeous guy while I was on vacation in Costa Rica about three weeks ago. We were hanging out slash hooking up every day for about a week, and I it's had. It's funny that like the minute she writes "gorgeous guy in Costa Rica," an image of a man comes up in my head. Do you know what I mean? Image of a. I I guess I a, maybe because a tan I just, Costa Rican yeah, man. Yeah, maybe because I just watched Sex in the City movie. Now okay. I think of that guy that's in the shower that lives next to Samantha. Oh yeah. That's who I thought of right away. We were hanging out, hooking up every day for a week. Had an amazing time, great connection, lots of fun. But ultimately, I wrote it off as a uh, vacation fling. Back home, we lived several hours away from each other, and as far as I know, neither of us were looking for anything beyond what we had. Mm. However, during the time we were together, I mentioned that I was going on a trip to Europe in the summer, and he said he'd love to go with me. (laughs) All right. When I laughed it off, he protested that he was really... I'd I'd love a mansion in the south of France. (laughs) That's what he said. That's what he said, Jared. That's what he said. When I laughed it off, he he protested that he was really serious about it and said if I kept in touch and then sent him info when the trip date got closer, he tried his best to make it happen. But first, how about you blow me? (laughs) (laughs) Really really, really cynical this afternoon, Jared. I'm in a mood. Mm, I'm a little tired, a little punchy, (laughs) but I can't deal... I, we've Jared all is not having this. any of your delusions this no, afternoon. No, this is bullshit. Yeah. But go on. I'm sorry. For the last couple of weeks, we casually kept in touch, mostly on Snapchat. Ugh. And yeah. occasionally Instagram. More serious. Oh, wow. Okay. I've, I've, tried to leave, <laughs> I've tried to leave it up to him to initiate most of the contact. So here's my question. Would it be weird now if I actually follow up with this guy about the Europe trip? I think it would be really fun, but I'm also realistically aware of how fast the magic of a vacation fling fades when you're back to real life. Mm. So even though we were both really straightforward about expectations, I'm worried he may have forgotten about it and I'll look like a psycho if I bring it up. And I know I'm probably overthinking this, but even if he was down for it, do you think resurrecting a fling is a terrible idea in the first place? Thanks, guys. Keep up the good work. Love you both. VK Bay. Listen, I've made fun of her a lot. Right. In this email, but I do. Under- I think it's a it's, it's legit a valid, question. Yeah. Legit, everything she's saying isn't crazy. Right. No. Yeah. She's, the, uh, and she's acknowledging that like she, that it might not be actually that realistic in practice. Of course, I, I I'm with her at every step, but I like there's so many things like from a guy's point of view that I'm hearing this guy do. Let's let's hear I've what they done. let's hear what they are. The the devil is about to tell you his ways. I'll tell you exactly <laughs> what's going on. But I want to know: Have you ever had a vacation fling? I mean, have um, you had this happen to yeah, you? Yeah, I think like that's yeah, that's definitely a thing. It's I happened to me. It's ha- it's happened to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think um anytime you're you're away, I've had like a probably like two or three in my mm-hmm. lifetime, and yeah, it can be like the kind of thing where you're kind of like, oh, like we did have a good time. I wonder if it would work. Mm-hmm. Um, but it never really, I mean, it never does, but I, I'm sure like in theory it could, I don't, I think every girl probably thinks like, yeah, like, Oh, we, we did have a good time. Why not sure. extend it? I've never really had one with someone who like lived in the same state as me well, though. I'll tell two stories. Uh, right. cause I see it from her side and I see it from the guy's side. Okay. Let's hear your, from her side. I went, I mean, not to Jew it up here, but I went on, um, birthright, birthright. and, <laughs> and became like infatuated with a girl. And, uh-huh. I was, and, it, and, in all, and I, looking back on it, I'm like, oh, man, it was the trip. You know that if you get married to a birthright girl, they, they pay for your honeymoon. Free honeymoon. To Israel. Back to... Anyone <laughs> who takes that honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> ugh. Can you imagine? It's a very, that, it's a that, very Jewish incentive. <laughs> it's a very Jewish incentive, but also, like, I'm imagining what the temple purchase her honeymoon would be. Right. And it's like, that is not what I'm... You're not yeah. in the Maldives. You're going. Uh, You're going back to the Temple Best Shalom's, to the barracks. Uh, backyard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to. Uh, so what happened kibbutz. with this girl? Uh, I. How old were you? I was into it. I was like so sold on it, and I got so. Whenever you're like away, you become in this. You're in a very, very thick bubble. 
Right. And the outside world is there's no reality in there because you're on this vacation, especially birthright. If you can connect, I mean, for those of us not of the faith, you're on this bus together of, you know, for a certain amount of time. The, everyone takes over these roles on this trip. You're adults, but you're kind of still kids. Right. Um, you can see you're on this trip where they're basically like pushing you to <laughs> be with Jewish people. <laughs> so like there's that that gets added to it. But more to my point and to open this up to the the guys uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that when you're a lot of women and I was males, this can happen to anybody on vacation. Right. You become obsessed with the story more than the relationship. Yeah. And I think that's what this guy's playing off of. That's why I made the joke of like, why don't you blow me after he said, I'll go with you to Europe because guys know that women love a fairy tale. And if you can, create, you were you were really into this girl though, I'm right? Saying, yeah, I, yeah. But I'm saying that yeah. I was guys and anyone can can fall in love with a fairy right. tale. Yeah. But I know a lot of guys will play into it. Will even if they were. Do you think? Were you thinking like I'm going to see this girl after this trip? We tried. We oh, tried. You did try. And okay. It, it just didn't work out. And right. the minute that we got to the real world, it was the minute it was like, oh. Right, because it's like this isn't a real relationship. We only worked out in the in in the land of no other options. Right, because when you're on vacation with someone, it's like you're in a fake community with yes. them. Right, where you guys are doing the same things and like living the same life, and then suddenly you're not. Well, especially you know now I'll connect with the guy. If I'm on vacation, I meet a chick. I've already done the math on if I can fuck or not on this trip, and there's only eight options and I found one that will deal with me <laughs> and now I'm going to ride this horse until I get to the end of the fucking track. But why, why say that kind of shit? Even if you, if you don't mean it, I don't because really understand can, what's the incentive because there. Because that's hot. <laughs> because like, it's something that you'll, that you, she, right. She'll buy Are you into. Th- but you're, aren't you feeling like a little weird about like deceiving someone that you don't, it's not even deceiving. He might even believe it. He's on that trip being like in Europe. Let's do Europe. The next yeah. trip. This is so much fun that I would totally go to Europe with you. And it's like, yeah, he's saying those things because he feels like, oh, this is this feels good to say to someone. It feels good to have her go, like, look at him and be like, I could see this Europe yeah. trip, even though we're listening to the email and we're like, this is ridiculous. You know? Yeah, like, I mean, it sounds it sounds ridiculous. Yeah, it doesn't sound impossible. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't sound impossible, but it it sounds a little ridiculous. But I can see. I think because I think that's a bigish difference between men and women and, and girls. Mo- most women that I know are not saying shit that they don't mean to sure, a guy. They, I, I Probably totally because they, 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 in their mind, they're like, oh my God, if I, if I said the Europe thing, the guy would be like, all right, get the, like, get the fuck out of it. Like, <laughs> away from me. Like, you're, but let's, uh, let's, you're extremely clingy. <laughs> so when a guy does it, they're like, oh wow, like maybe I, like, this is great. Like I found a guy who like is not afraid to like commit to plans with me and like wants to hang out with me and you get like excited and I get that's why you say it, but it's kind of fucked up to just like, see. that's the thing about guys, which We've already, we've already discussed is that guys just say shit. They don't really yeah. think about it that much. They're not thinking, well, like, well, maybe I don't really want to go, but like, what? It, but this is kind of a good. It's like they just say what they want to say in the Come moment. Is a weird drug, right? And then afterwards, <laughs> they like pick up the pieces if they need to, but they'll just kind of like say whatever they want to say in the moment. Which is why going back to that other thing that we've talked about on previous episodes, if you want to know if a guy is actually into you, look at the stuff that he does. Yeah. See if it's public expensive or difficult for this, for this specific case. He, the vacation guy is very easily looks like he's doing shit. Right. Cause he's there. Cause he's there. Right. So like, I do understand why people get carried away with vacation people because it's just the effort on vacation is so much less than it is in the real world. Right. To leave the house is different once you've already left the home. Right. To go to like to, to go to dinner with someone when you're already on vacation and yeah. going to dinner anyway is I not to go out like to dinner every night. Yeah. It's not like a big sacrifice. But also yeah. in that case, when you're there, you're like, wow, he comes to dinner with me. I can understand. Yeah. And you're taking pictures together because you're on a big group yeah. trip. So you don't think of it as like. And you look oh, good, yeah. you're tan, you guys yeah. are fucking in hotels. It's like you guys have been together it's like the bachelor. for months. Yeah. And yeah. I Listen, I've done, you've met bachelor contestants. I've yeah. met them too. And I, I asked them this question. I was like, how does it happen? I said to uh, Josh Murray, I was like, that guy got married like twice on the show or he got engaged twice on the show. Oh, he got engaged to Andy Dorfman <laughs> and then Amanda <laughs> and then, the yeah, Paradise. Yeah. And yeah, I go, dude, how does that happen? I said to him, and he goes, right. he goes, you don't understand. You're in this like... And it's kind of like a version of vacation. Right. You're and on he, like a two-month vacation. He ex- when he explained right, yeah. it to me, and I was like, 
I guess I get it. Like, I, he was like, you're on vacation. These people are looking at you being like, they like you and telling you how much they're there's into no you. There's no one else there. There's no one else. There's no other options. You can't right. swipe. You can't look at an app. You, you can't, can't go to work even and just like get a break. For like a, your head goes back to reality. It's yeah. a full on relationship at 24 hours a day. That's why when you're on vacation with someone, you meet on vacation. You're like, oh, we're already doing mm. the act of a relationship. But, I, but back to what this guy, when you're like, why not say anything? What are his options? She, just she, not not say let's go to Europe. <laughs> well, I really I not not insist when she says. Well, when she's like kind of like giving the him the out. What the fuck is she out. bringing up Europe for? They're in Costa Rica. Why why are you talking about dinner while we're eating lunch? That's because what I'm wondering that, about. Because girls are always doing well, that. Well, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. His options. She's put him in a position. That I'm I'm actually more on his side now. What on the Europe thing? You're t- you're sitting together in Costa Rica. You met. You're hooking up. You're having a great time. And she goes. Yeah, I got this Europe trip coming up. You should definitely get involved. And what's he supposed to say? Is that what she said? I mean, maybe she said, but she's saying I gave him like the out and then he like insisted. And he said he'd love to go with me. I mean, yeah, I mean, he didn't have to say that. But at the same time, what are his options? You don't think there's any chance this guy wants to go to Europe with her? Well, here's the other thing. Here's another vacation. Here's the (laughs) other crazy thing. Yeah. She's not ridiculous for bringing it up. Yeah. If she's like sitting there at home and she's like, he did say he would love to go with me. What she should do, and, and that's, like, I, I'm going to go back to her. I've, I've gone back and forth on this a <laughs> you lot. You can't decide if you love her or you hate her. Yeah. I love her, but I want to let her know, like, there's a good way to do this and there's a bad way to do this. Right. When guys say these glowing things that go along with you to get blown, because <laughs> that's what he's doing. He's being nice enough. He's not... <laughs> He's going with the He's current. being sweet enough to pretend he wants to go on vacation with you. Why can't women just appreciate yes. the fake the <laughs> well, fake effort being put forth, right? Exactly. <laughs> just appreciate that. But now, right now she's saying we talk over Snap, sometimes Instagram. Mm-hmm. I would be like, hey, I'm going to Europe. Just let him know that that trip's coming up. Wait, and I would joke. I yeah, would make, a, joke. make it into a joke. Yeah. Be like, so you, be like, did you get your ticket yet? Or yeah. like something like that. And yeah. he'll either joke back or he'll be like, actually, I've been thinking about it. That gives, yeah. him the, that gives him the opportunity. You're not, I don't think you're ridiculous for making that joke. Yeah, I think it's fine. He said it like it's not like it's not like it totally out of nowhere that you're suggesting this. And, you know, maybe he, he could be into There's it. There's like a 1% chance he goes. That this, and it's, it's like funny because like you said about the story, you fall in love with the story. It's yeah. like when this when it sucks to like when guys just say shit because girls in their head, like you said, they order. They're thinking about dinner when you're ordering lunch. It's like we want now once you say this Europe thing in our head, it just fills our heads with visions of us like strolling around. All yes. out, along along the streets in Paris and like having this like romantic like an other getaway and be, being with a guy and then creating the story that this guy I met on vacation and then we like hit it off and now we're to get like they have the create a whole right they create a whole thing in their heads and I get that it's like partially our fault for going there yeah but it's also like you kind of like want us to do that because you think that'll get you laid I, well, I'm not my mm-hmm. what I'm admitting to is mm-hmm. no guy's aloof to that to that the fact that we're thinking to that this. reality right. to, to the reality that when you say and i'm going to europe in a couple months and we go oh man we should do that to, i would love to go to europe with you we right. know that that hits a note a chord with you we know what we're doing so i'm saying and that's why this podcast exists right understand that understand that when guys go along with you they're going along to get you to the next location which is them getting blown the next location isn't mykonos <laughs> yeah, it could be. There's uh, there's seven blowjobs in between Costa Rica hangout and right. European vacation. So the takeaway from this is that it's pro- he's probably not coming to Europe. But hey, why but why not throw it out there? But you're not crazy for calling him out on that. Like yeah. you're not crazy for saying, hey, wait, I'm going to Europe next week. I guess I'll see you there. And I, that's that's a, I think that's like a fun way to play it. But I agree. Don't do the so are you coming? Yeah. Like, 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 I so I've been, take it that So seriously. here's the tickets I think that we should buy. Yeah, I've been looking yeah. into these hotels for us. You should take it as lightly as yeah. he played into this fantasy. But more to the point of the story, I think this is like an important conversation. Right. Like that whole idea that like 
I think people got to stop doing that where you're writing the story on the fly. It feels like a lot of girls compete with their level of relationship and whoever has the best story of how they got together wins the brunch table. And it I don't feels, even, okay, go on. But it feels okay. to me like it's like sometimes girls get ahead when they were like, oh, I got the story. Now I got to make this fucking work. And right. it's like story first, relationship second. Yeah. There's a lot of like expectations that your brain makes for your, for whatever you're like, is going on in your pseudo relationship that you then feel the need to live up to and then you feel let down when it doesn't actually happen which most of the time it doesn't because it's like an unrealistic view like you strolling down the streets of Paris with this guy Mm -hmm. is like something that you've concocted in your head that you're like such a good match and like it makes you almost not enjoy the moment as much I think that's really the big issue like obviously like the female brain works in mysterious ways um, but, <laughs> but how did you meet yeah, your boyfriend? I think that's, that's the big issue is that you, it's really hard to focus on like what you're doing now and enjoying, like enjoying your vacation and just saying, you know, if this is it, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah.